What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about what is probably the most anticipated pack. I get asked daily about this from you guys, the MSN pack. So let's have a look at when it could come and what I think the players will look like. Alright, so of course we're going to have to start with Leo Messi who I think will be the highest rated player in this pack as a double booster. Now we've had I think 25 versions of Messi since eFootball 2022 all the way up to the most recent card that they released as well, which was a young version of Messi. We've had multiple versions of similar cards, but obviously there are a couple of highlights, right? And you know what you're getting with Messi. He's pretty much got the best player ID in the game, one of the best player IDs in the game. And we've got tons of cards. Some are free, some are cards that were in the trio pack. Those trio of Messi cards there that you see that are shining in the middle of the screen, you had the 27th of May 09, the bootkiss Messi. You had the Leo Messi from uh, the World Cup, which was a center forward. And of course, you also had the Leo Messi here as well, which is from the 6th of May 15. So it's going to be interesting to see how they balance them. As I said, his player ID, the way he handles in game is really, really nice. We had that old school signature Messi card as well, the old ambassador card. And the one to the left, the right winger as well. There's, some, there's been some very interesting cards. Now, this creative playmaker Messi, I think was one of the best cards that they released. But there was a couple of little bits of... Uh, kind of like downsides to this card as well, especially as a creative playmaker. So I definitely think they'll go for the center forward route. Next up with Neymar, I think that we're going to have a left-sided player in Neymar that can play left, right, through the middle. Obviously, MSN could interlink everything. They could change positions. They were very flexible. You know, Messi could attack from the left, right, through the center. Suarez and Neymar could do the, could do the same. But obviously, Neymar is probably one of the most fun players to use. He's insane stats insane ability and again one of the best player ids in the game this santos version of neymar that you're seeing as a 94 rated cf was a free card and probably one of the best and my most probably my favorite free card him and costa corta i think are the best free cards they ever released but we've again had a load of different versions of neymar this is the latest one that you see here that launched with eFootball 25 with the new packs the new ambassador packs um and it is as you see here a very very good card as well as an ss and last but not least, we have Suarez, right? So Suarez doesn't really have any cards apart from one in the game, okay? And it is this version of him here, which is a 96 Fox in the Box. But when you train up his finishing to be 90, which is what you need, he's only going to have like 65 speed. So he's obviously not going to be usable really in the game at the top levels, which is a pity because I definitely think we are due a prime Luis Suarez card. I mean, I think people forget how good Suarez was when he was with Barcelona and for Uruguay as well. Obviously, he was a controversial player, you know, and he got suspended and stuff like that. But MSN, this was the season, man, that they really kind of like just absolutely dominated in terms of the stats. Maybe they didn't win as much as they possibly could have. But then again, Real Madrid were insane at that time as well. And you had Bale, Benzema and Ronaldo as kind of like, you know, their main rivals. But you can see the stats there were just ridiculous. I also do think that we are going to probably only get two Showtime skills with these and I definitely think that this MSN pack is going to launch with the next big major update, probably towards the end of the month, I would say. We still have a couple of other packs to bring out as well, um, or to see and to be brought out. But I do think that it is going to be Messi is the highest rated. He's probably going to get like maybe phenomenal pass. He had a load of assists that season. Suarez with the phenomenal finishing, or maybe the other way around, as we've seen with Cruyff and Totti. And then I think we might get either momentum dribbling or blitz curl or Neymar, which I think would be nice. But let me know what you guys think. Have you any interest in these cards? Are you sick of spinning? Are you just over the whole thing? I literally had to make a video on this, lads. There isn't a day goes by where I don't get asked about the MSN pack at least four or five times. And when I'm streaming, it's literally in every stream. So I know some of the packs don't interest you guys. I know you don't want to spin. But I also know that there's a lot of people that are enjoying and looking forward to these cards. So let me know what your thoughts are. Is it a spin or a skip? Are you looking forward to these packs or have you no interest whatsoever? You just want offline modes and edit mode. We've already done videos on that. But let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you later.